Let's start the new year's off right by exploring several motion graphic ideas that you can implement into this year's projects. We'll be creating a handful of seamless and repeatable motion graphics that can help you elevate your After Effects projects. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. Hope you're doing excellent in this new year. Be sure to drop a like on this video as it does help us out tremendously. And let's dive into several seamless motion graphic ideas. So in our first technique, I want to talk about how we can create this repeated line animation that can be great for title backgrounds or as a nice accent that can be used somewhere else in your composition. In your composition, grab the pen tool here at the top, make sure fill is turned off and click on the word stroke and make sure to set the solid color. And we'll use a stroke width of five. Then inside your composition, go ahead and click a point outside of it, hold down shift and click a point straight across like this. This will create a straight line across your composition. Go into your shape layer, go to add and add a trim paths. Open the trim paths, set the end to 0% and add a keyframe for it, move forward in time, and set the end to 100%. Then let's go to Effect, Distort, and grab Wave Warp. Let's increase the wave height to 100 and the wave width to 300. And we'll come here to Pinning, and you can change this to Vertical Edges, and this will kind of taper off on the sides like so. Then what I'd like to do is take our shape layer here, go to Edit, Duplicate. Then we'll go into the wave warp settings and we'll just go ahead and adjust the wave width and the height. And you set the wave height to a negative value and you can adjust the width however you see fit. We just want to variate the settings very slightly. And then we'll continue this process where we'll take our line, duplicate it, variate the settings, and we'll create up to four different copies with random settings here with the height and the width. Then once you have a few layers in here, you can go ahead and offset them in time randomly so they don't all come in at the same exact moment. So now we'll have this nice graphic that can be used for title backgrounds or just as a nice accent to put somewhere else in your composition. So now we'll create something a little bit more on the abstract end, but it's gonna look awesome. And it's gonna be this title tunnel. So I have the single title layer here with the same text repeated twice. I'll go ahead and type something out like that. And once your title is typed out, all you need to do is grab your rectangle tool here at the top. You can come here to title action safes and this will bring up the title action safes. And what we wanna do is from the center of our composition, hold down shift and control on our keyboard and draw out a perfect uh, rectangle mask like this. Then we'll go ahead and open up our text layer, go to text, go to path options and set that path to the mask one. And to animate this, we'll alt click the stopwatch for first margin and type in time asterisk 100. And this will allow the text to be animated around that rectangle. So I want to create like somewhat of a vignette around our text, but we have to do this a very specific way. So I'll come here to layer new solid and we'll make sure that the width and height is 1080 by 1080 or just a one to one ratio and click OK. We'll make sure the solid layer is right above our title and we'll come here to the top. We'll grab the ellipse tool and double click it. This will create a circle mask in our solid layer. I'll hit S on my keyboard for the scale and I'll scale down our circle here. Just make sure it's like right above our title like so. And then we'll hit M on keyboard twice. This will bring up all the mask properties. I'll go ahead and increase the feather and I'll grab our title and set the track mat to the solid vignette layer. And I'll come here to the mask expansion for the vignette and I can just close down on this until we have this nice, you know, dark vignette around our title. And it's this, this gonna allow this title to be actually transparent. So when we duplicate it, we're gonna be able to see through to the next layer. And one last thing I suggest doing is go to composition, composition settings, and make sure that this composition is nice and long. So maybe like a minute long at least. Okay, and then you take your vignette and your title layer, you go to layer pre-compose and click okay. Then we take this layer, go to edit, duplicate, hit asterisk keyboard for scale, we can scale it up, create one more duplicate, scale it up again. And then we'll go ahead and create two more copies at the bottom and scale them down. And then I'll move these layers over in our timeline so they're not on at the same exact position. Uh, and I'll add some randomness to our uh, titles here. And one last thing we need to do is toggle switch to modes and you'll see this icon here in the center. Just go ahead and make sure that's turned on. It's called continuously rasterize. And the reason why we turn this on is to retain the absolute best detail in our titles because when you scale it up, you're going to pixelate the titles a little bit. So that will retain this detail. So now we have this beautifully repeated title sequence. Before we move further into the video, we have a sponsor and that's us. If you use After Effects or Premiere Pro, then be sure to check out our Motion Duck extension, which has over 20,000 editable templates for your projects. For example, you can browse, import and edit templates all from the Motion Duck extension. So you'll be able to save hours of time on every project while producing high quality work. You can also download our free 100 template pack with the links in the description below. And if you purchase anything from our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. So in our third technique, I'm gonna show you how to create these beautiful wavy lines that are gonna look great in your compositions. I'm gonna come here to the top and grab the pen tool and I'm just gonna draw a straight line across our composition like this. I'm gonna use a stroke with a two and make sure that the stroke is white. We'll open this up. We'll go to add. We'll add a repeater to this. We'll go to repeater one. We'll set the number of copies to 20. 
open up transform repeater one, set the X position to zero and the Y scale to like negative 17. And then let's set the scale to 103%. And lastly, let's set the start opacity to 0%. Then let's come here to add, add a wiggle paths. Make sure the wiggle paths is above the repeater one and open it up. Change the size to like 130 and we'll increase the detail to 20. Set the points to smooth and the wiggles per second down to one. And then just hit P on keyboard for position and then adjust the Y position until your lines are in a place in your composition that you like. We can take this layer, we can duplicate it, go to layer, transform, maybe flip uh, vertical, and then just bring this layer up until you see the line and we can start seeing what we're doing here. And a quick tip, you can hit U twice on your keyboard and by changing the Y position, we can change the perspective of our lines. So the lines will look a little bit more straight on to us and it has some nice background detail to our composition. And for our final trick, we're going to talk about how to create a seamless banner like this with your logo or any graphic you wish to use. All I have in here is my logo along with a white background. Go ahead and create yourself that and then take those two layers and go to layer pre-compose and click OK. We'll go into that composition. Then we'll go to composition, composition settings. We'll set the width to 250 and the height to 200. Click OK. Then we'll go back into our previous composition. We'll come here to composition, composition settings again, set the width to 3000. Then we'll take this layer, we'll pre-compose it one more time. We'll, we'll call it banner loop, move all attributes, click OK. Well, then we'll go back into the previous composition one more time. Then we'll go to composition settings once again, set the width to 3000. Then we'll come here to effect, stylize, and grab motion tile. We'll increase the output width to go all the way across our comp like this, great. We'll add a keyframe for tile center, move forward in our timeline, and we'll adjust the X position of the tile center to animate our banner from left to right. And then we'll go back into the previous composition. Then we'll go to effect transition, grab a linear wipe, set the wipe angle to negative 90 degrees, add a keyframe for transition completion. You can hit U to bring up the keyframe, move it forward in time, and then set the transition completion to 100%. Then we'll go to effect perspective and add a drop shadow. We'll set the opacity to say like 35%, distance to zero and the softness to 200. All right, so now it's just a matter of taking this banner and we can hit R on keyboard for rotation. We can offset the rotation here by a little bit. We can then take this layer, duplicate it, change the rotation, and just randomly move it around our composition. So essentially what we're gonna do here is just create a bunch of different copies and randomly move it around our comp. So keep in mind, it's all about layering. So if you move the layers around, you're gonna get a different stack pattern. Uh, so it's all about just making it look random. And by following these techniques, you'll have this nice seamless banner that will be repeated on forever. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button for more After Effects tutorials just like this and always be creating.